Welcome back to the channel. I'm Sharon and this is Classy Shades Designs. It's time to create a bridge to the holidays. If you want to learn how, then keep watching. So for this project, we're gonna use all Dollar Tree items minus one or two things, which I'll share with you a little bit later. But I picked up three, these three picture frames from the Dollar Tree and they're four inches by six inches, kind of oblong. So we're gonna use three of those. Of course, we'll use our E6000 glue, which will give us a permanent hold, much better than the hot glue for what we need to do. And I also picked up 12 of these candle stands, which should be a um, staple that you keep in your supply kit because we use them often. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is run a bead of glue around the base of one of the candles and we're gonna stack them on top of each other. You've seen this done in other projects, I'm sure. So we'll do all 12 of the candle stands just like this and allow them to dry. While those were drying, I went ahead and removed all of the hardware from the picture frames and just kept the exterior glass. I then took my E6000 and I ran a healthy amount of glue down the edge of one of the pieces of glass so that they could connect together on the end to turn each six piece length of glass into one 12 inch piece of glass. Now you wanna make sure that you get this good and um, centered together and make sure that they're pressed and held tight. I let that dry for about a half an hour and then I came in with one of my uh, candlesticks and put glue on top of that so that I could then tape it and glue this into the center of the two pieces of glass where we blended them together. This will help give it some extra hold and I allow this to dry for another half an hour or so. I then repeated those same steps of gluing the candlesticks to the mirrors, placing one on each end of the 12 inch piece of glass and making sure that it was good and centered so that it would be even. I also repeated this same step with the single piece of glass that we had left until I had this. One 12 inch and one six inch. Three candlesticks on one and two on the other. Once it was dry overnight, I flipped it over and I started blinging it out with my diamond wrap, of which I'll leave a link down below. If you decide that you wanna purchase it, it just helps my channel out and helps me continue to bring in good content to you guys, but you don't have to purchase mine. You can use whatever you want to use. And you also do not have to put the bling onto your bridge here if you don't want to. I think this just takes it up that extra notch, or as I say, gives it that piece of class that we need for bling. I love my bling girls, so I'm adding it to it. Of course, I repeated that step for both the large and the small piece of glass. And this is what they looked like once I was done. You can put the extra candle or the extra candlestick in the middle for support, or you can leave it out as I have here. Let's take it over to the table and show you how I decorated it for the fall table. This is how it looks using the two bridges on top of each other and I just added it to my fall tablescape. I can't wait to show you what I'm going to do with this for Christmas. Now you don't have to use all both pieces. You can actually use just one bridge and decorate it this way. I'm using the 12 inch bridge, but if you choose, you could use the six inch bridge. And before anybody asks, we eat at the island in the kitchen. We hardly ever eat at this table. So it's usually just for decoration purposes. But why don't you tell me what you think? Leave me a comment down below. And as always, stay classy. I'll see you in our next video.